My friend Barry here is with us today. Cut this fish. Holy mackerel. 45 by 22 and a half. This is a 30 pound class pike. To catch northern pike consistently on ice, including giants like this, starting with the right kind of bait is key. Look at the belly on that fish. That's a big mama fish. Have lots of babies. There she goes. Tip ups can be an excellent way to catch fish and big fish. We're after pike and burbot today, and I brought a variety of sizes of bait and of types of bait. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I've got anywhere from the size of a pretty good size shiner, salted shiner, to bait size ciscos, medium sized sardines, jumbo smelts, or jumbo sardines and I will be rigged for the activity level and the aggressiveness of the fish that are in this area. Now on big baits like this big sardine I like to use a quick strike rig. All that is is a couple of hooks that have a space in between them. This is held apart by beads which cause a little bit of attraction by their color and when these are put into the bait one is put back towards the tail and the other one near the harder part of the head and when that is placed below the ice it'll often have a bit of a down nose down attitude that is particularly good in the spring when big pike are moving through the shallows picking up dead baits like ciscos that may have winter killed or suckers that may have winter killed that nose down attitude is a very very good presentation however we've been doing something a little bit different the last few years that I'm really excited about and I want to share with you is fishing circle hooks a single circle hook on not wire like the other one was but fluorocarbon leader material 80 pound fluorocarbon leader material is very very pike proof and when you use the single circle hook, that hook cannot, it's designed so that it cannot hook the fish deep. So it's a different kind of thing. When you have a hit on a quick strike rig, you get there and you set the hook immediately. When you get a hook on the circle hook, when you get a hit on that, you just take your time getting over there and you have the bait sitting like this so the fish literally takes the whole thing into its mouth and when you pull it out because of that rounded tip it slides right through until it catches right in the corner of the fish's mouth let's try these both out and we'll see which one works better when you do put it down and when you do come to a tip up that has a circle hook on it you have to take your time until that fish starts moving away from you and you just pull back you don't jerk it hard you just pull back on it and you're going to get more fish than not and uh, you're going to be amazed at your uh, survival rate on your fish you don't get them hooked deep and uh, you can release those big trophies after a picture that's what it's all about and when you uh, set it we actually measure with our fish finder so that in shallow water we'll set it two feet off the bottom maybe even more but in deep water you want to be closer so only about a foot so one foot to three feet will get you bit with tip ups and circle hooks And look at that, a gorgeous pike caught on a circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect for catch and release.